Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see another tutorial on Splunk. So as you know, we have gone through a lot of tutorials on Splunk and uh, we know the data is the main base for Splunk and we are indexing a lot of data uh, which are received from different forwarders and the, the data keep increasing in the indexer. So the indexer need more space to store this uh, indexed data and this also decreases the performance of the Splunk. So in uh, normal scenarios, uh, you know, since there are multiple uh, data getting you know, sent to the indexer, one of the key challenge for an administrator is to keep watch on these uh, data flowing into the Splunk and to control it. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can make use of uh, Splunk license usage app to get the reports on data index so you will get an overview of what is getting indexed what kind of data is getting indexed so you can uh, do some analysis you can control whether it's useful or not so let's get started if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe like the video share and comment so to start you know i already have a splunk instance running and i'm going to log in with the admin user account and password so if you don't know how to set up Splunk, please uh, check out my video on how to set up Splunk on CentOS. So if you go to my server and uh, you know, I have the Splunk folder on my root, but in my tutorial you would have seen it's under slash opt slash Splunk. So that's the better way to do it. So if I go to you know, the slash var slash lib, and uh, slash Splunk folder so that would be for you like slash opt slash Splunk that is the Splunk home page and uh, var lib and Splunk so that that is the place where we will have all the indexes getting stored so if you see we have default index we have other indexes as well like underscore metrics underscore introspect so all those index are getting stored and you can also see those uh, buckets which we have spoke in one of our tutorial how data is stored in uh, Splunk so we have different kind of buckets like hot bucket warm bucket you know cold so all those uh, folders you can see there now you see that uh, in searching in Splunk I can I have two main indexes one is the main which is the default one and I have created one for Linux so there are other indexes like underscore uh, audit all those things comes by default so you can see yeah, those uh, indexes when you go to settings and indexes so these are the default uh, Splunk audit logs and uh, those indexes so you can see those details here now if you go to settings and source types you will be also able to see what kind of source types are available so we have created some new from our uh, end and there are some default source type now let's go and uh, install the app so let's go to manage apps and you know uh, in the manage app you will be able to see all the apps which is already installed in splunk so you can see those information on the top right you'll have options like browse more apps install app from file and create app so we are going to use browse more apps so you can search for license and you will be able to see the license usage dashboard app so you can go through the details so you can read through the description and you, it will tell you some information on about the license usage app you can also go to the splunk base and you can download this app and we can make use of the other option like install from a file so you can import the file into the Splunk. So if you click on the Splunk base, it will be redirected to the application uh, page. So you can see the license usage dashboard, how it will come to us. Okay, and also it will give you again the overview what version it is available, those information. Okay, and uh, you can, you'll be also able to see what is the compatible version of this application in Splunk. So if you have 8.0, you can see this app is compatible. But some of the app may not be compatible with the different versions of Splunk. So let's uh, click on install and you need to log in with your Splunk. 
account so log in with your splunk username and password accept the agreement and click on install so now the installation is completed let's go to the app okay so we are on the license usage app dashboard so you can see a different uh, screens are there but uh, we don't have any data but if you go to the splunk home page you will be able to see the app on the left panel so if you click on that it will take you back to the same screen so there are different uh, charts available like today's license usage the daily license quota usage with the uh, terabyte so see there are not much data here because uh, this is a new splunk instance and i don't have much indexes uh, in it so that's why you know uh, that's why there are not much uh, data showing up on this screen so i will try to uh, edit this uh, search so i can add some more data into it okay but if you go to the dashboard screen uh, there also we have different kind of dashboards available so if you go to the setup page of license app so you will be able to see that we need to add underscore internal index uh, to the access to the user account which we are trying to run so in our case it's an admin account so if you go to settings and roles you, you go to the admin user and check the indexes so for us i think we have already have all indexes uh, internal indexes checked if you want you know we need to uh, select the underscore internal added to it okay. so then only the data for the usage will be showing up on the dashboard okay so let's refresh uh, the reports and uh, let's uh, also try out a few settings okay okay so great so it it took some time to bring all this data into the dashboard because you know as i said i had to add more indexes uh, into the splunk and also i need to edit some of uh, the duration because it says last seven days you know uh, like those so since i don't have much data at that point i had to change it a little bit uh, more higher but you can uh, do all your uh, uh, testing from your end you can make the edit uh, to change the settings okay so but you can see this gives a beautiful uh, information like how much uh, is used for each uh, sections like total percentage usage by pool right so the different kind of uh, charts we are giving like uh, what are the top 20 index usage right and what is the index usage for today you can see there is uh, some data showing up there right so it's uh, linux has used uh, some percentage of data and default also used some percentage of data and you can also see like with source type as well we are getting uh, the data so it's not just uh, the index details we are also getting what kind of source is sending more data to the your splunk so these all things will help as an administrator to analyze okay from this server or this forwarder we are getting this uh, source type so you will know okay this source type is sending huge data do we need really this data for uh, splunk so you can go and check uh, what why this data is coming to uh, to the splunk indexer and you may need to do some you know filtering before it comes to the splunk or you can check with uh, the technical team whether do you really need these logs or you want only some content of this log so those kind of analysis you can do you can also open up as a query and you can do you know your own uh, search query on that so it's up to you how you want to make use of this app okay so i'm just trying to give some information which you can uh, make use of it for your day-to-day uh, -day use okay so as we said we have uh, different dashboards which you know if you click on it it will tell you you know what kind of uh, data it's showing you have option to make more changes here
So these are almost uh, the same dashboard which we have seen on the reports and other tabs but it is separately created here which you can edit and uh, customize as per your need and you can uh, save it as a new dashboard so you can see you know i changed the duration so that i can get more data into it the same way if you want you can edit the searches So, you know you see that there are two hosts which I have connected now okay. and what kind of sources so which uh, source are sending the logs you can see those information as well so these are very useful information you, you see that which host is sending how much uh, bytes of data and what is the total bytes what kind of log like slash var slash log or you know which log uh, source is sending that so these help you to analyze okay this data is coming from this log okay maybe there is some issue on that application because of it it's creating more logs in that location uh, so those kind of analysis you will be able to do it Okay, if you don't uh, do the analysis on the indexed data, the challenge would be the Splunk keep indexing unnecessary data, which will keep adding up your uh, disk space. So, for example, if you are using some NFS share or shared location to just store the indexes, it will keep increasing. So, you'll have to put more cost. There are uh, default alerts and reports as well so you can go through those things as well and you will be able to make use of it and there are the add-ons as well which you can use it but i'm not uh, going to discuss about those here okay let's uh, go back to the splunk home page and uh, let's make this dashboard as your home dashboard so that you know when you log into the Splunk you will be able to see all this report on the home page itself now if you see if I go to the Splunk enterprise home I'm able to see the license usage uh, report here as well so I don't need to go to the usage app and read it so this itself will help you so whenever an admin login it will give the complete detail on what all things are uh, used okay now if you go to the Splunk uh, server so my Splunk in this server it's uh, installed under the home so uh, I'm going to the that location the Splunk home is for me in the home location okay but for your instance as per my first uh, tutorial it should be under slash opt slash Splunk that should be your Splunk home okay and if you go to slash etc slash apps that will be the location where the apps are installed and if you can go to the license quota usage app so you'll be able to see all the information related to the app like data, UI, views. So you can go through those folders and you will be able to see the configurations of this uh, application. You, can, you have a lot of XML file where these uh, UIs are defined.
Okay, to summarize, we have seen how to make use of Splunk license usage app dashboard, which will uh, give us a complete details on the data index, right? So we can make use of this data to control the inflow of data to the Splunk. So if there are any huge data flowing from any specific source, those source can be identified and we can take necessary action to correct it. So we are not just getting only the index details, we are also getting the source type and the source details as well. So we, it's easy for us to analyze uh, what kind of uh, data is coming in. Okay, I hope this uh, tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.